Hello everyone, today we have a sealed copy of Fantasia 2000. As it says right here, it is fucking new. So, we also have a brand new copy of Walt Disney's Fanta Walt Disney's Masterpiece Fantasia. So, let's get into it. Walt Disney's Masterpiece Fantasia. There's the the thing there to set off the metal detectors when you accidentally steal them at the store, probably Walmart, Kmart. As you can see here, it looks like it's been ripped a little bit. So that shouldn't that shouldn't ruin the value on these these days. Because there's idiots down, there's idiots out there that will pay for just about anything to have anything brand new and packaged these days. They'll pay a premium just to have it new. However, most of the people that want stuff new, they won't pay a premium like that because it'll just sit around for a few for a few months before somebody actually can fork out the money for them. So that's one thing I did notice is that. Most of the people on eBay that sell things for more than market value, they typically sit around. They typically don't sell them within the first six or seven months. It usually takes about a year. It takes about a few years, maybe three or four years for them to be able to sell them. So it might take me multiple months to eventually get what these are worth for, but mm. for the low price at a Goodwill or a thrift store. Sometimes libraries will have them brand new and packaged, which, of course, that's where I got these from, for 50 cents a piece. So, it's funny, though. If these were really worth, you know, a fortune like that, you think the thrift stores, you think Goodwill would eventually catch on and they would start raising the prices on them. I feel kinda, uh, it feels kind of weird, though. You go in there and they have them for sale for like $2.99 now at Goodwill or $1.99. And then you look online, and they're going for way more than that. So it's kind of weird. Anyways, Walt Disney's most celebrated, most acclaimed, and most requested film is finally here, Vantasia. This extraordinary blend of music and classic Disney animation is a... Yes, exhilarating sight and sound experience that has emerged as a milestone in the history of motion pictures. Featuring a host of unforgivable mint images, including Mickey Mouse as the Sorcerer's Apprentice, Fantasia has a captive generations of moviegoers all over the world. <coughs> Sorry about that, it's really dry down in here. My voice acts up all the time has captivated generations of moviegoers all over the world. The breathtaking beauty, electrifying power, and very special magic of this timeless masterpiece are now yours to enjoy in this restored version of the original full-length feature film. See the, see the music, hear the pictures, and share Walt Disney's greatest trumpet, Fantasia. Finally, I know, right? Seems like it was going to take forever for me to read that. With Leopold Sikowski in the Philadelphia Orchestra. Mm -hmm. so this movie originally came out in 41 to 42 in theaters. They showed it for about two or three years between that time period. For like a little bit. And then, I'm not, of course I'm not going to open this, but you can see the... It's obviously been dented a few times. Looks like somebody. So. You can see it's sealed because the sticker's still on there yet. Plastic is getting worn out. It's getting old. So. That's that. Here's Vantasia 2000. It's new in package. F2624. That must have been the key. I bought one of these brand new on Amazon probably seven to six years ago. And I paid 
about seven dollars for it. I paid a little, it was a little high because they wanted twenty dollars for the DVD and they wanted thirty dollars for the Blu-ray. And I said I'll just buy the VHS, the cheapest one that they have. So, and then I went to a I went to a garage sale and I found one for fifty cents. And then I found this one now for fifty cents. And I have three copies of it. I'm still looking for the DVD, which seems to be un unattainable. So. Usually when DVDs are unattainable, that's when people go to the black market or secondhand markets. It's kind of hard to read there, but it says 20859. So that's typically when people go on to the streaming services. They buy those um, things so that they can record them onto a DVD from the streaming services. That's about how the only way how you can get these movies these days. Because they obviously didn't produce enough of them to go around. So. Contains a collectible commemorative booklet on the art and music and technology in Vantasia 2000. <coughs> mm, sorry about that. I didn't, tried to ignore those little outbursts of my throat acting up. Breathtaking, splendid entertainment. You can see normally they put these on there. You go into the dollar store, you'll see these all the time. They put these on there as aftermarket ones. So this might be a re-release. Probably from like 2003 by the number there. Or it could be as new or it could be as... It could be just a 2001 release. You don't know. Usually if you see these brand new and they usually have these stickers like on there, that means that they could be a release, original, or they could be a reissue. <clears throat> Disney animators and filmmakers have, again, burst the boundaries of animation with Fantasia 2000 fulfilling Walt Disney's original version of a nuclear... Fusing sight and sound in a full-length motion picture. This film begins where its predecessor, Fantasia, left off with seven completely new segments in the return of the popular Sorcerer's Apprentice. In this fun-filled movie, breathtaking images are coupled with classic music favorites from Beethoven to Gershwin, from Flamingos popping yo-yos to a city of bluesy motion Vivid animation brings the music of Masters to colorful life. 60 years after the original masterpiece, Roy E. Disney has orchestrated a brilliant collaboration of more than 1,200 artists and technicians, including the animators of The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin, to present to Fantasy Asia 2000. So now, when they mention that Roy E. Disney, I think he passed away. Because he's no longer in control of Disney anymore. Now you have that German guy that's like a multi-billionaire. Which he seems to be like an asshole. So I noticed that because all the newer Disney stuff has nothing to do with any of the older stuff. Like it doesn't make any sense at all. Especially considering that I'm reviewing this in 2023. You know this came out what 24, 23 years ago. So... To present Vantasia 2000, a phone filled with dazzling moments, the New York Times and greatest moments, and arguably the greatest Disney film ever that is sure to capture viewers of all age. So, you can see here in the bottom, somebody took one of the stickers off the bottom down here. I have a feeling that was probably the price sticker that was originally on the front. I'm assuming it originally was going to say like 1995 or something like that. Because I know at this time period VHSs were coming out. And they were coming out to own and they were no longer like DVDs were. I'll probably just get a piece of scotch tape and just put that over the top there. It's hard to pull off these stickers. Instead of watching me struggle with that for the next 10 minutes. 
So you see how this one here says it's THX certified? Here's the original one. No THX certification anywhere. So, the original one, of course, was 1132, which was a very early copy. Very early number. So, keep in mind, though, people can reseal these things these days. They used to, uh, the machines that they originally, keep in mind, Disney did not do clamshells anymore after 2005, I believe, because I have never seen any. Except for Freaky Friday. So that might have been the only one. So they must have sold off all their clamshell. I bet you they sold off. I bet you they sold off all their clamshell. Packaging. Machines for this. The pack. You know the saran wrap these. They probably sold them off. Some places. You can see here where the sticker used to be. So. So, yep, I'm assuming so, and then, because I know Cars, the 2007 VHS that is actually fake. That's actually fake because nobody has ever seen one, not in the wild. So, it must be fake. If I haven't seen it, these are the rules I live by when I collect these things. If I haven't seen it, it's not real. If I don't, if I've never hold it and I've never been able to purchase it, it's not real. So, and if it's not affordable for me, then it's not real. So, which means that the prices of that stuff needs to come down eventually. It probably will in the next 15, 25 years when there's no point in holding on to them anymore. Be all support people out there with them. It'll be like, oh, they're worth nothing. So, yeah, we are coming to the end of this video, and please ignore. Just about all the impurities in this video. So. So those are the two. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one if you actually watch the next one. Don't worry, it won't be as dramatic as this video. Super Saiyan Productions.